Hi, today we are going to see the topic the difference between the WH Inman's Data Warehouse Architecture and the Ralph Kimball's Data Warehouse Architecture. According to Mr. WH Inman, the Enterprise Data Warehouse is the hub of the corporate information factory. That means it is an integrated repository of the atomic data. Atomic data means the data is cap captured at the granular level detail. At the most, uh, the lowest level details are captured. And it is integrated from the various operational systems. It contains the definitive and consistent representation of the business activities in a single place. This is the picture of Inman's architecture. Here the data mods sits at the top of the data warehouse and here is the operational system and by doing the ETL we are extracting and loading the data into the enterprise data warehouse. Here the that the enterprise data warehouse is the integrated repository of the atomic data stored in the normalized format. Normalized format means ER form. It is a third normal form. The data is stored in the form of third normal form. The database design is. And here the enterprise data warehouse is not queried directly by the analytic applications. Instead, it is fed to additional data stores dedicated to the variety of analytic systems. We cannot directly query the data from the data warehouse. Okay. And here the data mod sits at the top of the data warehouse and here the data mods is mainly catered to the needs of departmental purpose. It is like a subset of the data warehouse. For example, if the marketing department is having some specific queries that answer will be stored that that uh, marketing related details will be stored in a separate data mod. production related uh, details will be stored in the production data mod. finance related things will be stored in the finance data mod. okay and now let we will see about uh, the architecture of the kimball Actually, Kimball developed architecture, the uh, enterprise, uh, the data, data warehouse architecture based on the dimensional modeling. That is purely based on the third normal form. Here it is based on dimensional modeling. It is called as bus architecture. Here it is an integrated repository of the atomic data, same thing, and relies on dimensional design. I think you will be aware of what is uh, dimensional modeling and that uh, is a separate topic okay it is nothing but a single view of the business activities it also stores the data in granular level that means atomic level okay here the data is extracted from different operational applications and stored in the data warehouse in the form of a dimensional format so integrated repository of atomic data stored in dimensional format here data mods are not separate uh, physical it is stored as a logical uh, one as nothing but a subject area within the data warehouse okay it is based on dimensional modeling whereas Inman is based on ER modeling so all theories and I will explain this and um, in uh, that Inman's approach the data mod is a separate physical set of tables built for departmental use what is the main disadvantage is the first of all the redundant load process they apply different rules to source data leading to the systems that provide contradictory results if you are having the separate data mods okay the standalone uh, data mods lacks the enterprise focus so the main difference is finally i want to highlight a difference between the inman and kimball is the it's mainly 
the centralized uh, repository called uh, an enterprise data warehouse. It's mainly in uh, uh, stored in the form of normalized format. That is uh, third normal form. Here it is dimensional format and uh, queried only by the data warehouse application. Here it can be queried directly in a Kimball's approach. And it, data marts are standalone one here uh, in the Inman's approach here. It is not a standalone one and it is the logical construct that it means a subset of the warehouse tables. This is all the main differences between the uh, Ralph Kimball approach and Inman's approach. Thanks.